Hey guys, it's Bevan again, and welcome back to the channel. Uh, I wanted to take this time, because it's been a few weeks since I've been in front of the camera, and it's been even longer since I just kind of sat and talked to you guys, didn't do an unboxing, didn't do a review or anything like that. So I just wanted to take, take a few moments here to just kind of sit and catch up with you, let you know what's going on. So if this is your first time watching my channel, hit subscribe, check out the other videos and let me know what you want to see from me going forward. What I wanted to talk about tonight uh, specifically was collecting and collecting in 2019 for me personally. Uh, so this video is really mostly about what am I doing with my toy collection in 2019? So it is April 9th. I have actually gotten a lot of toys uh, in the 2019 so far. Um, a few wrestlers, a lot of Star Wars stuff. Uh, couple statues but going forward money is going to be super tight for me so I am going to be working on a very strict budget uh, for the rest of the year however in just a couple weeks time I am going to my first toy show in a couple years the Saskatoon retro game and toy fair it's on April 20th in Saskatoon so if you are in Saskatchewan this is a show you will want to hit uh, I'll put details below hopefully if I don't Google it. And I really want to go to this show and I really want to support this show because the Retro Game and Toy Fair is kind of the only game locally here where I can go and meet and buy from and trade with local collectors and it's just a really awesome thing. The toy collecting community is not huge here and I really wish it was. So if you are a local toy collector, hit me up because really I just want to make collector friends because all my friends, they don't really get it. But at this show, I'm going to be looking for three specific things. Wrestling figures, Simpsons, and Black Series. I just got into Black Series here about a month ago, a month ago, six weeks ago. And I kind of got really heavy into it. Just kind of bought a couple on the cheap, got a couple more in trades, traded a couple here uh, back and forth. So I'm at, I can see them from here, I'm at six. I'm at seven if you count the BB-8 accessory that came with Ray. And I'm looking to get a few more here throughout the year because I also recently got into figure photography, which if you watched, I think it was my last video, I did a, a vlog of going to the park and taking some pictures. So that's why I really want to get into Black Series specifically because I think those figures are just really good for using for figure photography because you can can put them in all these different settings and all these different worlds that the Star Wars universe has. Um, so Star Wars Black Series is something I really will be focusing on in 2019. Another collection I want to build is my Simpsons collection. Now you can see here, this is the World of Springfield shelf that I got. I love these figures. I'll just grab one here. I think these are like perfect representations of the Simpsons cartoon in toy form. Um, McFarlane kind of did some Simpsons stuff afterwards, but Playmates Toys, I think, made the perfect Simpsons figures, and I collected them heavy in high school, and I want to build that collection back up. However, for whatever reason, this is just a toy line. I don't see a lot of people selling locally, um, and that's really what I want to be, though, as well as a local collector. I don't want to do a lot of stuff and trading online in the Facebook groups. I don't want to order from the stores or buy stuff on eBay. I wanna just you know, be grassroots, do my collecting locally here in the stores, in the comic book shops, trading with guys here in the Facebook groups, going on Barrage sale, getting that good deal. Unfortunately, Simpsons stuff you just, you don't see here in Regina. And I don't really know why, because I know they sold the figures here. I just, I just don't know why that there's not a secondary market for it here for whatever reason. You guys can see these to these bookshelves behind me with all my toys on them. I want to get rid of these ugly, gaudy bookcases. They don't even match. They're two different colors. The shelves don't line up properly. What I want to do is uh, change my toy room completely. Get the uh, the wall brackets with the adjustable shelving you can put on it. I think that would just really open it up because when I look at a bookcase, you're limited by all these different walls around the figures and it just really makes it feel closed off. And I don't like that. I wanna have the openness of the adjustable floating shelves um, just to, to put more focus on the figures. And hopefully having that extra space, or at least the illusion of extra space, I wanna branch out into a few different toy lines this year. 
McFarlane is dropping Game of Thrones, which are gorgeous, and Harry Potter, which have not been revealed yet, but I saw the shadows for it, and they look awesome too. Uh, coming up later in the year, Storm Collectibles is dropping a Gears of War line, and I think those may be the first higher-end action figures I go after. Typically, you know, it's, it's Simpsons, wrestling stuff, Star Wars stuff, a few Marvel Legends here and there, but I really want to get into the higher-end action figures, which I know is weird because I said I was on a budget earlier in the video. However, I think if I can, you know, save up here and there throughout the year, that by the time these drop in October, November, I'll have enough that I can kind of justify that purchase, having saved up for the last eight months. And the last item I want to purchase in 2019, which will probably be with Christmas money, uh, and hopefully it's even released by then, unless Mayfax pushes the release date to next year, is the Mayfax Wolverine. Having already seen pictures of the Wolverine and the Cyclops, this is an action figure line I have to collect. Marvel Legends, uh, I, I've really tried to stay away from Marvel Legends, although I may get a few of the MCU figures here and there, simply for the figure photography hobby. I got an Ant-Man recently, game changer, you guys. I can put him anywhere and it makes sense. But I have my glass cases over here behind the camera and I can definitely in my head envision one shelf dedicated to the Mayfax X-Men line. So once I get Wolverine and Cyclops, those are the big two. But after that, I'm gonna need Jean Grey, Rogue, Gambit, Beast, Colossus. Um, just give me those Jim Lees that Hasbro's doing right now, but in the Mayfax so I can justify the $100 purchase that they are. If you made it this far in the video, you might as well give me a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button. Um, if you did, comment below. I answer every comment, so all I want to do is create a dialogue between me and you. That's why I created this channel. So if you're here, drop a comment below, something I can engage with, something that we can start a conversation with, and let's be friends. Let's be internet friends, because really, what is the internet for besides looking at porn and making friends? Last video, I think, or a couple of videos ago, I can't really remember when things happen anymore in my life. Uh, I mentioned I was going to do a collection tour for this room, and that is still coming. That is still coming. The toy room also seconds as a makeshift office sometimes. So right now we have piles of paperwork everywhere because it's tax season and we need to get that into my accountant here. So that video is coming, I promise guys, next couple weeks I will be putting that video up. I'm also looking for vlog ideas here because really what I want to do with this channel is sit here, talk to you and create a dialogue in the comments section or on Twitter, which you can follow me at, at Bevan Boychuk. Hit me up below with thing, with topics I can talk about on screen for a couple minutes and uh, you know hopefully we can start a thing here in 2019 where I talk and you respond and that's how we come together right now. Over me. It's late. Um, I have to work tomorrow. I'm just going to sign off. Yeah, I'll, I'll see you guys here pretty quick. Big things coming. I'm so tired, you guys. Next video will be better, hopefully.